You're listening to Fifth Grade and the Cosmic Explosion of Knowledge. Amazing information and facts that will make your brain explode. In today's episode, the fifth graders have taken a folk tale and turned it into a reader's theater script. They will now perform it for you. We hope you enjoy. Three goats went into a grove to eat leaves. The first had one little belly, the second had two little bellies, and the third had three little bellies. The one with one little belly was the first to get full and the first to go home, but a wolf laid himself in the path. Run, run, I'll eat you up. The second goat got full and now was going home. Run, run, I'll eat you up. Don't eat me up. I'm only half me. But a goat will soon come who has three little bellies and who will fill you up completely. Fine, you can go. Here was the third goat who finally got full. Run, run, I'll eat you up. The goat said nothing in return, but instead, brave and forward as he was, lowered his horns and gave the wolf such a blow that he fell from the cliff into the shams below and broke his right leg. The poor rascal lay. He wanted the biggest and fattest mouthful, but instead got nothing but pain. In olden times, Hessen was surrounded by forests, which had many wolves. Many families of goats tried to enter Hessen, but were torn apart by the wolves. A week later, a kid goat that was weak made its way to Hessen, but he barely went into the forest and saw a wolf who was hungry. My mother is coming too! The wolf thought, Don't spoil your meal. The mother will be a better meal for my stomach. Soon the mother appeared, and the wolf almost pounced on her, but said, My husband is coming too. Stop! Her husband will be a better meal. The ram goat approached. The wolf's heart laughed <laughs> in his body when he saw the ram. He was about to pounce on him, but two things caught his eye. His spikes in his back. Tell me, ram, what are those big spikes on your head for, and what is that back for between your legs? Oh, these? Spikes are a pair of pistols, and the bag is where I carry my powder and lead. At that moment, as such animals do, the ram rubbed his left spike against his flank. The wolf thought he was loading his pistols, so he ran away. Thus, the first family of goats made it past and have multiplied so much that Hessen now provides the neighboring lands with its surplus every year. Three Billy Goats Gruff from Norway. Once upon a time, there were three goats and their names were all gruff. One day, they were going up the hill where the grass grew thick to make themselves fat. But to get to the hill, the goats had to cross a bridge where a mean and hungry troll lived. The youngest Billy Goat Gruff decided to cross the bridge first. Who's crossing my bridge? Tis only I, the smallest Billy Goat Gruff. I am going up the hill to make myself fat. Well, I am going to gobble you up. Oh no, don't eat me. I am much too small that I am. Just wait till the second Billy Goat Gruff comes. He is much bigger. Very well then, off you go. Not long after the youngest Billy Goat Gruff crosses the bridge safely, the second Billy Goat Gruff starts to cross the bridge. Who's trip trapping across my bridge? It is only I, the second Billy Goat Gruff. I am going up the hillside to make myself fat. Well, I'm going to gobble you up. Oh no, don't eat me. Just wait till Big Billy Goat Gruff comes. He is much bigger. Very well then, off you go. Soon, the Big Billy Goat Gruff came along to cross the bridge. He was so big that the bridge was sagging. Who's crossing my bridge? Tis I, the Big Billy Goat Gruff. Now I'm going to eat you up. Well, come along. I've got two spears and a poke at your eyeballs, out your ears, and I've got besides two curling stones, and I'll crush you into bits, body and bone. So the big billy goat gruff poked out his eyes and crushed him into bits before throwing him into the creek below. The three billy goat gruffs became so fat that they could barely walk out. They lived happily ever after.
Remember to hit the subscribe button. Like this podcast. And we'll give you a round of applause.